Welcome back to the K Dog and Fish Show. You guys supply the topics. We put them in the K Dog and Fish Bowl. Three topics, three minutes. Oh. Start the timer. Let's, Let's go. go. Famous pets. Top three 80s movies. Best flavors of chips. Let's talk about it. Topic one. Thank you to everyone who submitted new topics this week. If uh, your topic gets pulled, you also get a shout out mm-hmm. on the show, episode 52. Let's mm-hmm. go. All right, all right. At Harley's and Stogie's Pops. Nice. Which pet from a TV show or movie would you want to own? Which huh. pet from a TV show or movie would you want to own? Start that timer. All right. Uh, so. First off, the first thing that popped in my head was Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo? I want to solve mysteries and just eat sandwiches. He wasn't really a pet, though, was he? Uh, he was a was detective. He pet? He was a he's detective. Shag- he's part of the detective crew, but I, technically, I think he's a pet. Yeah. Uh, that's a good debate on its own. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Garfield? Once again, my life has been saved by the miracle of lasagna. Mm. Very little maintenance. I True. mean, you have to keep a lot of lasagna in the house. Yeah. But he had a bad attitude. He was a bit of a... He was a bit of a downer. He, was, he could be a dick. He could be. Yeah. I'd yeah be, I especially like, to Odie. I think Odie's better. Odie, Odie'd be fun. Odie's very reliable. He's just running around like an idiot. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, which, uh, you know which one I would not want? What? I know this is the opposite of the question. Yeah. Uh, the little Lasobo. He's well, just he's just running away all the time. That's true. Going to solve crimes and help yeah. people. And he's super smart. Very smart. You don't want a smart pet. Too no. smart. No, you want something a little dumb. Dumb. Not too dumb, but a good <laughs> level of dumb. Walking into walls dumb? Yeah. No. For Would friends, you... what was the name of uh, Ross's monkey? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and, and and the and the you know and his pet. And he is pet. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh his monkey was Maurice? A- a- Oh, it was Maurice. Is it Maurice? That would be Marcel. You want to say hi? No, no, I don't. I'm pretty was sure it, Maurice? it was Maurice. I don't know. That was a cool, that, that was a cool. cool. That monkey was pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure that was the same monkey that was in Outbreak. It's a thousand. No, that's actually a fact. That is. That's the same monkey from Outbreak. Well, I wouldn't mess yeah. with that monkey. No, he. That monkey was very famous. Yeah, that was a famous monkey. <laughs> famous monkey. It definitely looked like the Outbreak monkey. Uh, what about dogs? Yeah. All right. We, okay. Uh, other. Uh, we're off the monkeys. We're off the monkey. <laughs> Marcel. 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 That's oh, it. Yeah. We're close. All right. Don't we're, rip we're off us, monkeys now. Don't rip us in the comments about that. We were close. We're close enough. Started with an M and it's French. Uh, yeah. Alf. Alf. He was an alien. He was their pet. He was a pet alien? He was their pet. Well, I don't know about that All one. Right. Sticking with just uh, purely well, purely animals. We'll have to check the books on that one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. I can't think of a of a TV show or movie pet where I'd be like, that's something I have to have. Yeah. Unless it's know. something that's going to like um, you know, crack a safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Superman's gone. Superman had a dog. From the super dog, from the super pets thing? No. Oh, the dog flew? Uh, oh, that's yeah. Yeah, well, cool. why, w- why, why wouldn't that's he That's logic. He picked him up at the pound, and now he can fly. <laughs> that makes sense. What? Yeah. What about, what about uh, Turner and Hooch? Oh, he just made a good uh, gizmo from Gremlins. But that's all the rules. Yeah. You can't yeah. feed it after midnight. You can't. Get it wet. There's too much maintenance. Yeah. I like Turner and Hooch. Turner and Hooch. Uh, he slobbered a little slobbered too Slobbered a little bit, yeah, yeah. But he did help solve crime. What about Canine? Remember the movie Canine with uh, Belushi? I absolutely remember. Classic. That, that is a classic. Classic Some movie. people might say the, uh, the one with Schwarzenegger. Red Heat. Red Heat. Or taking care of business, but my favorite James Belushi. Ooh, that's a podcast right my there. My favorite James Belushi is yeah. K9. He's a treasure. K9. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't solve much in yeah. that debate. I don't even know why I do this show because we there, never actually land on one thing. I was just far talking as, about multiple things. I want a pet, I would say, from a TV show or movie mm. that could like do something other than just be a normal pet. Like gotcha. if you're cracking safes, you're solving crime. Uh, all any kind of Does how to train your dragon count because yeah. I want a dragon. No. dragon, dragon, that's cool. <laughs> that's too much maintenance. So you just don't want a dog that just rolls too around. Much it's it's maintenance. too much maintenance. You know yeah. what you have to feed a dragon? Come on, they can get their own food, <laughs> fly around and get your own food. Yeah, get your own food. All right, yeah. topic two You're going to the bottom, get get wrist deep in that bowl. All right, who's the who's the topic from? Do, 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 do. Dan's toy chest. Hey. This one's going to be another one where we're going to circle around <laughs> for three minutes and not land on anything. All right. 
Top three 80s movies. Oh my god, that's impossible. It's impossible. All right, start the timer. That's right. a whole podcast. Let's narrow it down to our top 50. <laughs> this is impossible. Top three is impossible. Well, like, you gotta go by genre, like a comedy, drama. This is Horror absolutely movie, impossible. We, and I, we actually had a debate once about what was the best year in the 80s yeah. for movies, whether it was 84, 85, 86. Okay. And you just take any of those years, and mm -hmm. you're talking movies that would be in your top three yeah. for sure. I mean, we have Indiana Jones, Back to the Future, yeah. Goonies, yeah. Karate Kid, yeah. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Like, there's, it's all right. endless. I'm, I'm putting one out there straight okay. off the off the hop. All right. 1988. Okay. Die Hard. That's really good. I'm putting and, that one. And Roadhouse. There. Yeah. Was 89. Roadhouse too. Yeah. Uh, Roadhouse. Two movies. Very similar. Now, here's, I'll give you guys an 80s movie that you may have never heard of or seen. Yeah. And it is so good. I'll give you two. Okay. Uh, that I saw as a child and I absolutely loved. And it they're not as famous as... Goonies, E.T., all, all those 80s movies. Okay. One, the movie Daryl. Oh, yeah. Where the old man invented a robot child. D.A.R. Dot dot exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whatever right? that's for yeah, you. Yeah. Data analysis robot youth life form. Right. There you oh, go. Oh. There you go. Hello. Yeah. I, that was a good movie. That's a great movie. Is that the same kid from War Games? No, War Games no, is Matthew Broderick. War Games is Matthew Broderick. I'm thinking that kid was in something else. I think else. it was Will Wheaton. No, it wasn't Will wasn't Wheaton. Wheaton. Anyway, he it doesn't in, matter. He was in something else. Daryl, it's an underrated 80s gem. The other one is yeah. The Explorers. Oh, yeah. River Phoenix. You remember that? River Phoenix yeah. and a bunch of other kids. Nobody, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Corey Feldman. I think so, yeah. And they, they uh, <laughs> inexplicably... Uh, we're able to turn a tilt a whirl yeah. into a spaceship. Yeah, that happens all the time. And respond to a signal in space and actually meet the aliens. But they traveled in space in a tilt a whirl. Also, that was the plot to Fast and the Furious 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just, they're out of ideas. <laughs> Ludacris, can you turn a tilt a whirl into a spaceship? Yeah. I sure can. Yeah, they're, they're fresh out of ideas. Uh, so yeah. I would say if you've never seen those 280 movies, they're extremely like not as famous as a lot of other 80s movies and okay. i absolutely love them all right weird science yeah Beverly Hills cop anything big from trouble john hughes <laughs> oh big, exactly there's so many there's so many there's too many oh. planes trains has got to yeah. be on is there. that sneak in in 89 89 yeah. 87 87 all right fletch fletch yeah there there's there's too many. Again, we've hit the top. We hit thirty. Let's we, see if we can nail. 50. There's no way to do top, top fifty. Uh, Rocky four. Oh god. Does Empire Strikes Back count. Kind of yep. Like oh, okay, there you go. Empire. Yep. Empire. Empire. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's too many. And yeah. then you're. We're just talking about sci-fi and comedy. You can yeah. go into dramas. Like yeah. you could do um, Scarface. Out of Africa. <laughs> Who Dude. doesn't love Robert Redford in a in a in a safari? In a in a rom <laughs> rom drum rom drum with uh, uh, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, the two in of them the, in the Australian outback. Australian outback. Nope. Actually, it's out of Africa. So out of Africa. Yeah. I'm thinking Africa. of the Dingle Seal Your Baby's yeah, getting, one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's yeah. a good one too. Yeah. Uh, out of Africa was Best Picture in 1985. There you go. There you go. Classic. Uh, Platoon. Platoon. We're gonna get ripped for not mentioning a bunch of other movies, yeah. but uh, that is impossible. To determine and the timers run out. Yeah. Uh, Batman, so. 1989. True. The original Batman. Anyway, yeah. so we better. There's no way to nail just top three. So we discussed a lot of great mm -hmm. ones from the 80s. That's as far as we're going to take it. Topic three. Boop, boop, boop. At Campar 77. Okay. Best flavor of potato chips. Huh. Start the timer, and I have a, I have a side story with this. Okay. That I if, if you've not seen the brand new season of Letter Kitty, yeah, that's episode one. Okay. Where they debate the best flavor of potato chips. They have a they have a, a town hall meeting. Okay. To discuss, and you were not allowed to say all dressed. Oh, I hate all dressed. Uh, and which is funny yeah. because they were saying it as if all dressed. There's no competition. All dressed is the best flavor chip ever. Yeah. And I'm actually the opposite. And I'm glad you agree yeah. with me. All dress chips are gross. This no. might be controversial. No. I, I'm sorry if we were offending you with our words. All dress chips are gross. Yeah. 
Ryan Reynolds no. likes all dressed. Oh, I gross. love Ryan Reynolds yeah. to the infinity and beyond, yeah. but that's wrong. I they actually all dress is horrible. Yeah. Oh, they're horrible. I actually Awful. watched a YouTube video on it. If you have like some big scuffs in your in the paint on your car, you get a bucket of water, you get a bag of old Dutch chips, you yeah. pour them All into the dressed. water, yeah. and then you scoop the chips out after 20 minutes, yeah. and that's like battery acid. And it'll take yeah. anything off. <laughs> Scrub it's that just, right it's, down. It's like, it'll take it right off. You eat it, and all dressed chips taste like, like, like... I don't even know. It's like a. It's too much. It's not like a good party in your mouth. It's too. It's much. a confusing party in your. No, mouth. No, it's like a Studio Fifty Four party. It's in your just mouth. not like what you want. You're confused. Not like when I do like when I get two bags of kettle cut uh, kettle crunch chips and I get yeah. one jalapeno and one of the barbecue mm -hmm. and then I put one each one of those in my mouth. That's, that's good stuff. That's what life's about. That's now, like you're on vacation in Hawaii on the beach. That's I amazing. know you're gonna say jalapeno. I'm it's jalapeno. One, it's in the top you got flavor. the jalapenos for the uh, for the garage yeah. sale, and I polished off it's that. Good bag. stuff. Yeah. For me, I'm a sour cream and onion guy. Yeah. That's just going back to the old school stuff. I do like the sour I cream. I don't and bacon. like sour cream. Uh, yeah, any variation. Yeah. A sour cream and blank, mm -hmm. and I'm in. Got There's right. like sour cream and cheddar Pringles are. Those are good. Oh, those are good. Yeah. Uh, but I would say the ones that I like the least: yeah. all dressed, mm. dill pickle, and ketchup. Yeah. Also salt and vinegar. Yeah. It's too much vinegar. Yeah. If there was like salt, like lightly salted, I'm yeah. weird. Yeah. I'll take just a lightly salted chip over. Yeah. In a crazy flavor. Nice. I also need. I have my chips have to be. Like, like rigid, like, you know, like, you know, <laughs> like a ruffles, like a ruffles or, right. you know what I mean? Like, you I, don't like a, 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 those plain Lay's chips. No, I don't like that. I gotta no, have, some, I gotta have some texture. I gotta have something going on here. You need something in your mouth. That's making your tongue go. It's gotta something be something different. I also here. want a plain chip. I need, it's gotta be some kind of shit. Yeah, I like a plain. No, no, no. I like no. a plain. Unless it's a Pringle, salted. Pringles are, are freaking good. Yeah. Good luck. Not eating the entire can of Pringles. Too. No, you eat the whole can. Like it's impossible to just be like, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna have a little, and then that can will just sit there, and you'll just yeah. constantly be doing this, right? It's impossible. It's impossible. You, it's impossible to not eat the entire can. It's of Pringles. also impossible yeah. that you start eating one Pringle at a yeah. time, and yeah. you're like, F this. Yeah, no, no. You start grabbing three or four. Yeah, at you time. have to. It's like yeah. you know, you it's know? like a Pringle sandwich. Well, you're wasting all that time chewing on one. Yeah. It's not enough, right? Ridiculous. I don't think I've ever left a can of Pringles. Not empty. Nah, that's fair. It's impossible. It's yeah. It's I, truly I, one I of the totally. hardest things to do, like in the world. I totally agree. That's how the and then they make the massive Pringle cans now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I polished off one of those a couple times. <laughs> yeah, if you were to go favorite Dorito, favorite Pringle, favorite Lay's. Oh, favorite Doritos, Cool Ranch. Uh, I like those new jalapeno cheddar sure, ones. Those are my favorite. Yeah, those ones are. Uh, favorite yeah. Pringle, sour cream and onion. Um, jalapeno for Pringles. Uh, Pringles. You know what? I actually just like, I like the originals, but I like, there's new thicker ones. Have you seen those ones? The rigid ones? Yeah, the rigid ones. I don't like mm. those ones. Yeah, I like those ones. Yeah, yeah. And then Lay's, I like the I, the opposite of you. I yeah. like plain, lightly salted Lay's. I'm not even a Lay's fan. I don't know. Is there, I don't know. There's there's not a great, yeah. I think the most popular Lay's is probably salt and vinegar. Yeah. Uh, and the plain. Yeah. The yellow bag, the plain, lightly salted Lay's. Those, I think Lay's, do they make a smoky bacon one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. I don't mind a smoky bacon chip. And then we're from Winnipeg, so we'd be remiss if we didn't mention Old Dutch. Oh, Old Dutch. Old Dutch. Yeah. We can't get those the kettle cook ones anymore. No. They had the best kettle they cook chips. They had good kettle cook. Yeah. We can't get those anymore. Now it's Miss know. Miss Vicky's. They're still, the Miss Vicky's are still good. Best brand we can but, get here. Well, the PC one's pretty good, too. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Pretty good. But the... But the the uh, <laughs> kettle crunch, jalapeno, <laughs> and mesquite barbecue from Old Dutch. Yeah. Put them in a bowl, mix them together. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Thank you to everyone who submitted new topics this week. The topics stay in the bowl until they get pulled. So each week, make sure you check it out on social media. You can submit new topics also in the comments on this show. Mm -hmm. If you have topic ideas, we'll put, put them in the comments. We'll put them into the bowl. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fish. K-Doc. We'll see you again soon. Peace.